We're so glad to have you here at the Church of Scientology to advise we and RTC and Mr. David Miscavige, our boss, about ways to help us improve our cash flow. Cash flow is not so good. Well, well, I, I'm very delighted to be here. Again, I'm Winthrop Cabot Astor V. My friends call me Win. Win. But you can call me Cabot. Oh, okay, Cabot. And, uh, and, and I am a Global Managing Director at Global Capitalism Headquarters, and I've been asked here today, it was suggested by uh, our John P., who's yes. uh, a valued employee, even though he's somewhat antagonistic to you, he knows a good business opportunity when he sees it, and he suggested that uh, we pay you a call to see if we can unlock, uh, with our financial acumen, if we can unlock some of the value in your organization. Well, the Church of Scientology needs help. I'll give you an idea of what Mr. Miscavige is doing. One of his core stable datums, he believes the internet will be destroyed probably within a year, just by suppressive forces. Get this, he wants to invest $100 million in the profit side of our business, Bridge Publications, three words, typewriter repair franchises. Well, I think that's an interesting idea, Mr. Mills. Um, unfortunately, I think that it's uh, a really narrow vision on your part. Oh. That sounds like a great market for a nostalgia product, you know, and but nostalgia so. always comes back in style every few years. But um, now, one of the things so that the John internet's, P internet's not going away. One of the things that John P does yeah. is he studies the internet and he invests in all these internet stocks like the Google and all the, of those sorts of the things. The what? The Google, if you may Google, have heard of that. Google. That's uh, it's oh, a that's very popular a internet thing. Search engine. Yeah, yes. okay. Now, I, I'm not so familiar with it because I have people to search these things for. Same thing with me. Yeah. But, uh, but John, is, you know, John is very successful at this sort of thing, although he's only successful to a certain degree. I mean, he's still of that, that, uh, that ilk where his jets only have two engines on his private jet. Think so, of it, two engines. Poor yeah, guy. That was a long time ago for me. Yeah, I'm much more of an idea guy, of a strategy guy. I'm much more focused on building relationships with our valued uh, customers. So what can you do to help the church? We, uh, we have a lot of money, it's going nowhere. Well, I think uh, what we can do is, is we can take the money that you have and we can work with you to help turn that into even more money. I like and we that. And we can do it in a way that not only bolsters your financial returns, but also bolsters mm -hmm. your prestige. Now, it turns out that I head the Special Situations Unit at Global Capitalism Headquarters. So we've done a lot of deals with clients who's, uh, who, who've been looking to improve their image by working with us. So we've done you know, career rehabilitations for people like Idi Amin of Uganda. Muammar Gaddafi was a big client of, of mine. Like that. Um, you know, we helped him build palaces that really showed off his unique style. Um, you know, we would call it sort of uh, early contemporary Turkish whorehouse. And, yes. um, and, and so we were able to help him really build uh, you know, landmarks uh, and, and monuments that his people loved him for. Well, our image certainly could use some refurbishing and enhancement. We're attacked on the internet. Well, where do we start? Well, uh, I think there's, uh, I've, I've worked with some of my, uh, some of my uh, underlings, of whom I have hundreds, if not thousands, and, um, and we've come up with three main areas okay. where I think we can help you. The first area is to help you unlock the value in the brilliant ideal org strategy. Ideal orgs for me are a perfect example of what Scientology represents. It is the symbol of our church in your community. It's a place where people can achieve what they want to achieve in their lives. They have a chance. It is a mecca. It's a base of certainty. And you know when you walk through those doors, you're going to go clear. You're going to go OT. And you know that you'll be okay, no matter what. I was involved with the mission that, uh, that, with the project for management that went in there to open this organization and get it going. And it was on that mission that I realized that they were really all about just making more money. Because what we're attention was focused on almost every other week was making more money for the IAS mm. and getting events happening within the organization and getting promotion happening within the organization for IAS fundraising events. 
while at the same time, very little attention and very little pressure being put on getting new people in, on getting books sold, on making auditors, on getting people into class. Sure, there was some lip service given to this, but the priority was all about making money. So we know that of late the pace of fundraising has slowed a tad. It's, uh, yeah, basically stagnant. And so we thought that, you know, this would be a good time for you to, to join the 20th century, well, actually, even join the 21st century, and, uh, and look at the idea of leverage, the idea of borrowing money from a trusted source such as Global Capitalism Headquarters. Yes. And when we put together, uh, uh, for one of our customers, we put together a global, unified, secured uh, real estate financing vehicle. Yes. Basically, it's one source of funds for all of your real estate needs. You know, it's subject, of course, to the usual terms and conditions, such as, you know, a, a single late payment allows us to repossess mm -hmm. all the buildings. But the buildings. these are all pretty standard. Um, nothing to worry about there. And, and so, you know, for example, you've been struggling to finish the Battle Creek Ideal Org for some time. Yeah, Battle Creek Ideal Org is just stalled. As well, are other projects. Well, what we would see is that by providing you this kind of global facility, uh, we could see that you would have the funds not only to finish out the Battle Creek work, but to also put orgs in the rest of Western Michigan. So you could not only do Battle Creek, but you could hit Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, and even some of the oddly named suburbs in that part of the world, places like Oshtemo and Paw Paw. And yes. you could even have enough money left over to drop ideal orgs into the depraved, post-industrial wastelands, towns like Benton Harbor and Muskegon. Mm -hmm. So essentially, we're going to give you a facility that will get you 10 to 1 ideal orgs. Really? 10 to 1? Today. I like and that. And that really, we think, could help fuel your straight up and vertical real estate expansion. I like it. How Pal needs an ideal org. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, it's been, I'm sure, okay. that, uh, you know, we by just looking at the one example of Battle Creek, in the relatively bucolic rural world of, rest of Western Michigan, you can imagine what we could do for you in New York City. Oh, it would be amazing. Okay, well, I don't mind. Uh, we have the ideal orgs as collateral. And what's funny about parishioners, our parishioners think they own the ideal orgs. They don't. We own them. We own them. They donated money for them, and we took them back. So I could put ideal orgs up as collateral. That's well, no we problem if it would help us leverage into more orgs. It's one of those technicalities that our funding sources uh, just had this annoying habit of insisting on, but it's just a technicality. And given the benefits of the leverage, our, your ability, you know, your Mr. Miscavige could spend, he could open six to eight ideal orgs a day wow. once we put this facility in place. There was a lot of goodness to Superpower. Tell me. A lot of goodness. Yes. It was the most expensive uninhabited building in the world. Oh, true. And it gave this incredible idea to milk the locals for money for a building. Oh, agreed. Did yes. you know that all ideal orcs are just following the pattern of superpower? Get this magnificent structure in your city. So they're the most profitable empty buildings in the world. There's a bit of rah-rah on the web. Yeah. Because the locals believe that the local church is going to own the org. Doesn't the local church who raises no. them? No. They don't it's own. owned by Church of Scientology International. Oh. In landlord office. Right. And, and they have to pay weekly, right off the top, to rent it back. Oh, so the local parishioners buy the building, give it to the church, and then rent it back. They have the illusion ah. that the locals will own it. Not true. What a great it's a way. It's a rent scam. Yeah, great mm -hmm. way to raise money. You know that Miscavige actually studied the McDonald's franchise. You know that they make more money off renting and doing this formula than even burgers? I didn't know that. Mm. Ms. Cabbage studied the successful actions of McDonald burgers. So buying the ideal orgs is buying rent. Oh. Actually getting the local busy workers to give them rent every week 
for well, the coffers. Yeah, I would like to do that. I would like to buy a property, or actually rather have someone buy me a property, and then I could rent it back to them. I should be a church. <laughs> Thank you.